Hello everyone, Tyrone here from Tight Fitness Solutions. Now, can I say I don't like CrossFit or CrossFit sucks and am I going to be accused of being a racist? Now, that seems to be the trend these days. Anyone wants to go against the CrossFit uh, ways, the CrossFit you know, techniques, the way CrossFit is structured, these days you might as well be just called a racist. It's like I just you know, you know, racially insulted someone. Now, basically, I'm going to give you my uh, pros and cons to CrossFit. I've, I've recently just posted an article this morning on Facebook, which I shared from a top fitness provider. Now, both in the world, now both Nick Mitchell and Charles Poliquin have also given their results or basically their findings on CrossFit, and I'm basically going to give you the same. Now, so many people, it's a cult following, so many people are on the CrossFit bandwagon, Okay, I have done it before and I don't like it. Okay, now I'm going to give you the, the pros that I find to cross CrossFit. I'm also going to give you the cons that I find to CrossFit. Now, I completely agree with the, the two most professional people in the world were related to sports performance, fat loss, and athletic development, Nick Mitchell and, and Charles Poliquin, in, in the same matter that the, the ability to perform these movements that you're designed to do in a power development phase. Okay, or a speed development phase, and accompanying them to doing to 10, 15 plus reps is just unbeneficial to the body. Now, bear with me. Pros to the CrossFit, I will agree. Great fan base. People love it. Okay, there's a community, there's an aspect, there's a team admiration, there's the you know, desire to succeed and be better. Great. Okay, but the downfalls to CrossFit injury rate, poor technique coaching. No development of structural balance to the person's body. No considering longevity of the human body. It seems to be just a basic smash and bash principle to protocols to training. Now, what I don't like about it, no technique to movement. There may be some people out there that actually, you know, put a bit of coaching into their ability, put a bit of coaching into their athletes. But at the end of the day, it's glorified group sessions, okay? 20 people or plus, you know, less doing, you know, the same sort of jargon, throwing weights around left, right and center. Doesn't matter how your form is, doesn't matter how your technique is, basically all is is get the most amount of reps out in the shortest amount of time. Okay? Not a fan. Okay? You need to take into longevity of people's health. Health is related to their body as well. Okay? If you're consistently okay, it, it's basically proven that a kipping pull up Okay, has immense amount of stress on the external rotators of the shoulder. If you're not continually addressing that issues or strength or structural balance to the external rotator of the shoulder, okay, then you're going to try and perform Olympic lifts where you're overhead pressing or overhead squatting where the stabilizers of the shoulder are consistently activated. You're setting yourself up for injury. Okay? Now, I'm not alone here. There will be a thousand people out there that have done CrossFit before and have injured themselves. Okay, I've dealt with people trying to fix their injuries and structural balance issues related to CrossFit injuries. Physios I've spoken to. Chiropractors I've spoken to. These are the health professionals to keep your body in shape. Okay? They relate CrossFit to being a high success of injury rate. Now, there probably is people out there doing it right, but the vast majority of them aren't. Okay? It's a phase, it's, right, it's a movement, and it's turning into a cult. People love CrossFit. I don't, my personal opinion, okay? I believe in more structured training. I believe in a little bit more focus on actually utilizing the movements that you develop in cross training into the right development of the movement, okay? It, Olympic lifting was not designed to perform 10 reps or more in a, particular, in a particular range of motion, continuous and continuous and continuous, followed by state of active fatigue to be able to perform kipping pull-ups straight after it then doing kettlebell swings, where it's proven that any sort of bar uh, improvement past the knee of a certain amount of degree puts a certain amount of extra torque on the lower back and the lower lumbar and the disc compression there. So kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings or anything like that where you're throwing and extendingly extending the lower lumbar, okay, very, very high development of lower back and disc injuries, okay. It's not what I'm about here at TFS and that's why I don't like CrossFit. Yes, I have done CrossFit before, I haven't experienced it, and I don't like it, okay? The impact to the body is not beneficial, you don't need to do it to get weight loss, you don't get better sports performance out of it, and you simply, uh, it is not a way to get your body healthy, it is not a way to keep your body pain-free, 
It is not basically to keep your body in a, a, you know, the best body composition you can all year round. There's simply better ways to structure your programming and training so you do not simply have to smash and bash your body. Anyway, there's so much more I can go into, but I'm keeping these videos short. I'm sure there's going to be a thousand and one comments on me hating me now, like, oh my God, he hates CrossFit. He's the, he's the antichrist to, to CrossFit. Well, no, but I just don't like it. I don't think it's healthy for people's bodies. Anyway, I'm Tyrone. Peace out. Take a good day and uh, 